Good morning, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live and the Kremlin commenting on the Pope's Ukraine plan uh, and the Pope of Rome, as I mentioned to you just uh, yesterday, it, he's calling on Ukraine to raise the white flag of surrender. Well, Ukraine is not going to do that, according to some of the latest things that are being said over in Ukraine. The spokesman noted, says here, however, that the Pope's call, as well as those from other countries, including Russia, have recently been met with an absolute harsh rejection by the Kiev regime. In a statement on Sunday, Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky, without specifically mentioning Pope Francis, stated the religious figures trying to help in Ukraine are, are together with the people not two and a half thousand kilometers away, somewhere virtually mediating between someone who wants to live and someone who wants to destroy you. Foreign Minister Dmitry Kaleba, meanwhile, responding to the pontiff's claims about the need to be able to accept defeat and show courage and negotiate by insisting a strong person always stands on the side of good and stressing that Ukraine's flag is the only one by which the country lives, dies, and will prevail. We shall never raise any other flags, Kaleba declared. Well, it looks like it's going to end up being their demise. But then again, this is what a new world order is looking like already. And I want to kind of kind of go into this with you. Don't think for a moment that this war or that the new world order agenda here in the United States and, and NATO and their allies is any different from the Putin new world order. According to Sputnik right here, this and this uh, just... Uh, uh, well, this actually came out last year here. There's a different one I'm going to share with you in a moment here. SEO uh, commented to establishing a just world order within U UN central role, according to what Putin says here in this article here. Our organization is firmly committed to building a truly just and multipolar world order. Now they call it a multipolar world order. A world order based on international law, on the universal recognized principles of mutually respected cooperation and sovereign states with the central coordinating role of the United Nations, Putin said, quote, unquote. Now that is uh, pretty much new world order, if you ask me. And what's interesting is that uh, we have like here on Veterans uh, uh, VT uh, Foreign Policy, Veterans Today, they stayed here, and this is, of course, an old article, uh, back in 2022, Putin New World Order Worships Satan. Mm. That's what he says, the New World Order Worships Satan. But yet he's willing to start his own world order, right? So which one is it? Which is, is just the West's New World Order. They're all evil. It's just which one prevails will be which one wins the war. But then again, it's no surprise because after all, like we have on this article right here, Putin is, is Jewish or a Jew. Documents from the president's biography confirms the rumors. There is his own document written in the Russian language and the translation. Russian uh, says here, President Putin, Vladimir uh, Spranovich is Russian by nationality, mother of the head of state, Maria uh, Ivanovova uh, Shalomov, is listed as Jewish on his own document. Yep, that's what it does, right? Half Jewish by nationality on the mother's side. And of course, anybody knows uh, the uh, order of modern day Judaism. If your mother's Jewish, you're Jewish, not because your father. The historical origin of the surname Shalomov comes from the Jewish male name Shlomo in Russian, Salomon. So, yeah, so he's definitely Jewish. And um, look, I don't hold that against him being Jewish. But the thing is, he's masquerading around as a, uh, as a uh, Russian Orthodox Christian. And maybe he is. I don't say that he's not, but if you recall, I re re reported to you Edouard Houdot, who brought out when he was coming back from Israel, flying with another diplomat out of uh, Ukraine, this was long before the war got started, that they were raising up his cousin, this Jewish guy, his cousin, Vladimir Putin, to raise to power in Russia. And of course, Putin actually does that. Um, and by the way, here it is again, another New World Order insider paper, Putin the autocrat eyeing a New World Order. This just came out today in Russia. Yeah, believe it or not, this came out today. Ever since the previous little known KGB agent became president in New Year's Eve 1999, he has consolidated power by bringing oligarchs to heel, banning any real opposition, and turning Russia into an uh, authoritarian state. His most prolific critic, Alexander Navalny, 
died in an Arctic prison colony last month in a mysterious circumstances. Other opponents are serving lengthy jail sentences or have fled into exile. You know, that's what happens. Boris Yeltsin, Russian first president, appointed him as the head of the FSB Security Service in 1998, and later he becomes the prime minister. Now, all these things here, very obvious, right? But in October 2023, Putin accused Europe of creating a new Iron Curtain and said Russia was building a new world that would not be based on Western hegemony. Hmm, what do you know? So even like uh, Henry Makov says here, how Putin is part of the new world order. This is all the way back in 2014. He was noticing it then. The, the or, uh, this order they speak of as as we shall show, represents essentially a global system of political and economic control over humanity. And Putin, a former KGB boss, is following precisely the strategies towards order outlined openly by the same Western establishment he, excuse me, purportedly stands as bulwark against. He often refers to his vision as uh, imposition of a new multipolar world order, but it is exactly the same order sought by globalist Western power brokers, right? Going on further down, the plot aims to divide plant, uh, planets, peoples, and nations into massive regions ruled by supranational institutions such as the European Union. Uh, and by the way, you know when he talks about coming to help Bell, Texas out, and Florida out, and all these other great things he's talking about doing and everything? You lose your sovereignty. Yeah. Yo, he might bail you out. I don't say he would. Wouldn't. Okay. Uh, the contemporary quest for the world order will require coherent strategy to establish a concept order within the various regions and to relate these regional orders as one another. Um, and that was what Henry Kissinger had to say. David Rockefeller's infamous uh, trilateral commission outlined essentially the same plan. We cannot leap into a world government in one quick step, he said. In a brief, the precondition for eventual globalization, genuine globalization, is progressive regionalization because thereby we move towards a larger, more stable, more cooperative units. 2011, Putin wrote, we suggest a powerful supranational association capable of becoming one of the poles in modern world, serving as an efficient bridge between Europe and the dynamic Asia-Pacific region. Alongside other key players and regional structures, such as the European Union, the United States, China, EPIC, the Eurasian Union, will help ensure global sustained development. Sustained development, of course, represents the pinnacle of the Western global visions of a new order, centralized global control over a facet of human life. Yes, yeah, so this is exactly what Putin's taken you to. So, and, and not only that, not only that, you've even got Trump, like I said, this came out on Sputnik News yesterday. NATO diplomats urge European nations to brace for U.S. exit from the alliance. Whoa, what do you know? Trump is planning. Another official said Trump's comments highlighted that we NATO members are so over-dependent on the U.S. The source noted that a discussion about how to hedge against the risk of U.S. exit from NATO was necessary. What was the statement that he made? Let me show you what he said here. Uh, let's find it here. Here we go. Trump, okay, he said, Trump says here, he just said this recently, right? I said, everybody's going to pay. They said, well, if we don't pay, are you still going to protect us? I said, absolutely not. They could believe the answer per the former U.S. leader. Trump then added that one of the presidents of a big country at one point asked him whether the U.S. would still defend the country if they were invaded by Russia, even if they don't pay. No, I would not protect you, he answered. In fact, I would encourage them to do whatever the H-E-double-L they want. You got to pay. You got to pay your bills, Trump recalled telling that president. Really. I mean, I understand trying to get people to pay. I get that. I appreciate that, that he, that he was trying to get them to do it. But just to throw people under the bus, maybe because they, they don't have no way to do it, pay for protection. Oh, no wonder why he's so close with Putin. No wonder why he's so close to Netanyahu. You are headed to a new world order and don't even know it. While all along, you think you're not. Mm. By the way, the head of the main intelligence director, Bondanov, claims that Ukraine is preparing for an operation in Crimea. 
Uh, they are expecting that, and that's one reason why you, uh, Ukraine is not willing to, Zelensky will not surrender as the Pope has advised for that to be done as of yet. But don't kid yourself. The Pope knows exactly why he wants them to surrender. But it'll only become a bigger bloodbath. They're dividing the world up into the regions they want them in. They are killing off those that they don't want. Just like Edward Hudeau once predicted and prophesied about all that, that's exactly what is happening. But one bit of other information, too, I want to share with you. Over on our uh, Patreon channel, I'm going deep in behind the veil. And, you know, it's kind of interesting. I could not help but think of the Wizard of Oz. There's an interesting document that I share a little insight from uh, over on our Patreon channel about in, in Behind the Veil. Very interesting, very deep study. Uh, but uh, so I kind of had this up here just as kind of like a visual there because the Pharisees had done something very awkward. And it's brought out also in Matthew's gospel, Mark's gospel and other places. So I hope you get a chance to check that out, and, uh, and I hope it's a blessing for you. By the way, let me just really quickly share with you also one other uh, bit of information here. iConnectFX.com, that is the platform we are on. This is their Facebook page right here. And um, I really strongly encourage you to get yourself an account. You want to be able to say things and not be censored. Get an account with iConnectFX.com. This is our account right here. One of the greatest things that I like about this platform is the multi-languages. If you want to listen to, like in this broadcast here with Dr. Sellers, you could play it. You could switch it to French. Il s'y préparait depuis des décennies. And you hear him in French. It, it et même sur cet aspect, pouvez-vous de commenter et partager certaines de vos... And they do have a more advanced version of this. It's still the same price. I just don't go into the, the, the extra work that it takes to do it. But you can have a separate voice for this guest or for that guest there. You could do three guests, different voices. You could have a female voice for one and a male for the male, etc. to where it makes more sense when people are listening to it. The, the technology that this company has is actually incredible. And I know there's many people that didn't join in the beginning because there were all kinds of issues they were having, but they have overcome practically every issue there is. I did talk to them about the cookies issue. They said that's a legal issue. They said, you know, we don't really have any way to get around, you know, saying about the cookies. And, and if you ever notice, you, most websites you go to, you always have to accept cookies or bare minimum cookies or, or whatever the issue is. I don't understand that part of it, but I can tell you, if you do iConnect and the other thing that you do, is you take and they, they have this amazing part of the program too when you're in the editing process of your video and I'll show you this. You wanna get the views to go, you can do like I do. You just go in there, you click on a video, let's say if I was clicking on this one right here and it says upload to YouTube and you can do a 30 second clip. You can do it for, for one day, two days, 72 hours. You can do it permanently if you want it to where it's only the 30 second clip but that way you bring your viewers from your channel and they come to iConnect and they get started over there as well. And then two, that sensitive content is not being censored by YouTube. So you still get the message out to your folks. And I'm actually going to share this video on iConnect, but it'll be on Fact News Network. Um, but, uh, but that's something that you're able to do. And then now they've got this thing, and I don't do this part of it myself, but now iConnect even has their store system now, an online store system that you can do. Here's, like here, you got these shoppings there. Uh, how to use Shackley, the school time. Um, you know, people that have their online stores, and I don't know if it's just videos there or not, but uh, okay, yeah, here we go. Um, this one here where you can buy the different products and stuff that are available. Uh, you can get donations directly, and boy, the donations are very easy if you're in ministry. Uh, it's just, it's, I like it because it's simple for you guys to find when you want to support a broadcast. If you, if you were playing my video over there and, um, and you wanted to go, it's just right there. That's simple. 
So anyway, I just wanted to encourage you there uh, because there has been a lot of changes made, a lot of incredible updates, and I think it'll be a blessing for you. And, uh, and no, I don't get paid for saying that. I'm just saying it to you from my heart. I think it's a, it's a good alternative channel to use in light of uh, so many other channels out there. I do use the paid version myself uh, because I'm able to load longer videos. They do have a free version out there. But, you know, I would at least get a minimum paid version, you know, so that you can help uh, or gives you the ability to load up longer videos is what it is. That's why I use the paid version. Anyway, thank you for listening. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live.